All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. For today, what we're going to be doing is working on the cooling system of the car. I mentioned in the last video that I'd probably be doing like the first startup or something like that. So we'll see if we can get to that today. Um, for some of the parts, I have the coolant here. I have the radiator hoses um, that I'm going to be installing. This is the little brass fitting that I was talking about that's going to be an upgrade. It's going to go right off of this coolant tank down to where this tees it's going to replace that um, this is the plastic one that tends to break on you and another thing upon further inspection of this car when i was looking at it is right down in here um, there's a little crack that happened to the front probably from the uh, the front end impact um, there's actually a little crack that happened right not sure if you can see it or not um, but I'm also going to be replacing this hose on here too as well. I have another one that I picked up. This is a 45 degree elbow that hopefully I'll be able to make work and put in place of that. So that way there won't be any more vacuum leaks and it should be able to run a little bit better. I'm going to start with this clamp right here for the turbo. I already removed this. This is just a 7 millimeter clamp that's going to ride right on the top part of this. So once that comes off, I'm just going to go ahead and try to push uh, the rest of this hosing off right here at the top. I'm just going to take a hammer and pound on this and see if I can get this to, to remove and pull off. There's another little nut right down here. This is a 10 millimeter that hooks onto this intercooler bracket and won't allow this whole entire piece to go down. Um, so that's why I was having a little bit of issue actually getting this to to come off here is the piece that was connected to the bottom of that turbo and see if i can find uh, the damage on it so the tear is actually right here you can see the crack pretty significant and that's just from this core support the old one that got pressed into it it ended up falling and pushing this right into the bottom of that turbo and that's what cut it off here is the the new pipe or the new hose that I have that I was gonna put on. Issue with this is it's the wrong size. This was a two inch diameter that I got and um, I believe the other hose that came off of it is one and three quarter. So I'll have to order the correct size. Right now I'm gonna work on the rest of the cooling system and get this swapped over and then we can start uh, putting the new hoses on and get everything installed. Now, removing the old radiator hoses, that's what I'm gonna start with first. We have this hose over here on the passenger side. This hose that comes right underneath the headlight and also the intake, this is where the intake would be. Um, this is where it connects to this metal pipe piece right here. This is gonna, this clamp, it's a, also a one-time use on this car. This is gonna have to get to come off right here. And then there's also another one, if you follow this pipe up, that goes to right under here. And this goes right to that coolant tank right on the top of the car. There's that little black piece that's also going to have to come off. That's a piece of the, uh, of the hoses that comes in that kit included that will need to come off. But this is what it connects to right here. So also, these are all one-time use clamps that are all going to have to be broken off. This piece is now off. Get on this last one. Last hose right here. It goes up to that coolant take. Best way to get this off instead of fighting underneath the wheel well. So I'm just going to pull this uh, radiator tank out so that way I can get to the bottom and I'll have easy access to it. There's just going to be one bolt right there. One right there. Both are 10 millimeters. And then this also this clamp needs to be removed, and then I'm just going to pull this tank out. Still working on the bottom radiator hose. The last clamp that will need to come off is going to be right there. This hose is now off. Uh, that's the connector that it was on right there. I just pulled it up to get it out of the way. Moving on to the side one right here. So this one, uh, the front part's already off, already broke that clip. So this snakes down underneath this intercooler pipe and goes and it hides behind. Uh, way back in there, there's going to be a clamp that I'm going to have to get to. Now that all the hoses are off, we're going to start by putting this new one on. 
it's gonna go in just like this. So I'll start with this one. Uh, and then we also do have these, the new clamps that actually you can take on and off, they're nice. First hose is on, I have the clamp tightened down back in there with a the screwdriver. This front one, I'm not gonna put the clamp on yet because I have to pour coolant into this. I'm gonna be putting this next one in here. It goes in, goes down just like this. So it'll set down in there. One thing that I'm doing is to make things a little bit easier is I have some coolant here on the floor. This is just the old coolant that drained out. Let's just take a little bit, um, dab it on your finger and just coat the inside of this piping before you place it on the actual the spot where it goes on and it'll make things a little bit easier as far as it sliding on. This small piece right here that comes in the kit is gonna go onto the bottom of this one right here. And then this will get set back into place. Just wrapping up so that top coolant tank hose comes down to right here. This is where the other smaller hose piece left off. And then that metal piece that I had taken off that goes over here. You'll need to save this because this will go back up into here. Um, I'll just match this up and I will get this last piece. And this is it completed on this side. All the hoses are tight and buttoned down. I have the, there's little, this bracket pieces that help keep this in place. There's one there. Then I also zip tied it right here just to secure this in place and keep this from rattling against the splash shield. Those two are both tight in there too as well. I'm gonna go ahead and secure my water tank back up, put these two bolts back in, get this clamped on, get a new worm clamp for it that's removable. And then I'm gonna be moving on to my coolant tee. This is what I was talking about before um, that always breaks. So I have this piece right here. This is, this is something you can get from the hardware store. It's a PEX T and the dimensions, it's a three quarter inch by one half inch by one half inch. This is what it looks like. This is the, the variations that it needs to be. Uh, three quarter needs to be on one of these sides. When this sits in here, it's actually gonna sit like this with the half inch coming out this way this way and then the three quarter inch going out that way. And these hoses will fit up perfectly to this size. New clamps are installed and this is what the brass tee looks like after. This is what it was with just the plastic. That's what it looks like. That covers everything for the radiator system so far. All the clamps are tightened up. Everything is tightened up except for this one, which I'm still waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and dump some coolant this is where you're actually going to put the coolant in right here. The method of pouring the coolant directly into the hose didn't really work as expected. It started to leak out of this hose before like hardly any fluid was poured in. Nothing ever came out of this and I just ended up losing some on the ground. Um, I don't know if that's because this is the, the 1.4 motor and that only works with the Jeep motors that they will pour it into that hose and it works there. But either way, it didn't work for this. So what I'm gonna plan to do is just pour it directly into the coolant reservoir tank. And ideally it should go into the bottom hose here and start filling up that front radiator. Um, but either way, I can just keep topping this off and the coolant should make its way, maybe even after running the car to where it needs to go. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. I am actually going to have to wait to start this car. I'm just waiting for that front turbo hose right here. Once I get that, uh, I'll be able to actually start it. I just don't have anything that will work for right now to put on here. And I can get that turbo intake over there back on. Once I do that, I'll deal with the coolant and the rest of doing a first start for the car, letting it run, hearing it. I think that the way these look in here so far, uh, I like the way that the red definitely does pop and... They look a lot nicer, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks and this engine bay is gonna come together really well. 